fluid is the lifeblood of the equipment. Hydraulic fluid keeps the, the, uh, the, the flight controls uh, working. Oil and other oil wetted fluids keep our components cooled and operating sufficiently. Without that in our airframes, our aircraft don't fly. It's just that simple. Let's say, for example, we have an issue where we think that we have contamination. Water, for example, in a hydraulic system can completely shut down that hydraulic system and cause a catastrophic failure. That means we lose people and equipment. Fluid sampling and fluid measurement in laboratories is not convenient, it's not cost effective, and what we need to do is make it cost effective. The current system that we have at our disposal is to first pull a sample from the field. You package a sample for, at the field. You ship the sample to a laboratory. The laboratory conducts uh, laboratory analysis. The analysis is then turned around and given back to the field. Now, those steps take time, they take money, and they have a degraded impact on readiness. One of the difficulties in fluid assessment is that the government has to balance the cost of, of testing the fluid, the cost of sending it to a laboratory, with the cost of saving equipment or reducing maintenance. And that balancing is difficult to achieve. One of the reasons it's difficult to achieve is that shipping costs and fluid costs and the cost of pulling those samples, those are expensive costs. So if you can't reliably demonstrate that you have saved significant amount, numbers of assets and translate that into real dollars of savings, it's difficult to justify those programs. Our whole goal is to keep our planes in the air. And we do that by condition-based maintenance. We know that testing oil in the lab is an expense. It can be very expensive. But if we had a handheld device that we could actually test on the spot, that would reduce all those costs. I think the potential benefit of fielding a device such as this portable handheld has the number one benefit of improving readiness, improving safety, and reducing cost. Those three elements are the goals, the DOD goals. Without readiness, that soldier, that airman, that marine, that sailor, those people that we put out there in harm's way are not able to complete their mission or sometimes they'll have to complete a mission and not in the safest means available. The only way to get benefits of those assets out of, out of testing those assets is to reduce the cost of testing. If the cost of testing right now and sending a sample to a laboratory is three dollars then three dollars is too high because we're not getting that money back but if we could reduce that to a quarter or a dime that changes the whole cost-benefit equation. A device like this potentially can contribute to safety across the board when used effectively. That's important. As we are giving the user, the person in the field trying to complete a mission, an opportunity to make a decision with a reliable, repeatable, good instrument so that we can carry on the fight.